Empires on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Zach, this is Crystal Palace. Think Norad has declared DEFCON 3. Scramble all alert aircraft. I repeat, scramble all alert aircraft. The Whopper spends all its time thinking about World War III. Target selection complete. Time on target sequence complete. 22 Typhoon class submarines departing Petropavlovsk. Turning south out of North Cap, bearing 095 degrees. Radar reports two unknown tracks are penetrating the Alaskan air defense zone. From the front lines of the information war. Flush the bombers, get the subs in launch mode. We are at DEFCON 1. Are you prepared to destroy the enemy? You bet! Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. We'll keep control, but we'll keep it here at the top where it belongs. Three, two, one. Impact. Shall we play a game? How about global thermonuclear war? Live. From the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All units confirm weapons targeted and ready, awaiting launch codes. We are in a launch mode. Do you really believe that the enemy would attack without provocation? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We're in. Russians are still denying everything, sir. We have a Soviet submarine launch detection. I wish I didn't know about any of this. I wish I was like everybody else. James Ben. The only winning move is not to play.
right, folks, we are back. Thank you so much for joining us. Continuing with the Russia situation, it's very simple. They're, they're openly bringing in U.S. Special Forces, NATO Special Forces into the area. They're moving into Russian ethnic areas that are clearly going to become autonomous and want to join Russia. That's the natural course. Russia will then be drawn into this, and if the West decides to asymmetrically attack the Russians, they will asymmetrically attack it first to test. Then if major armor or aircraft are brought in against Russian forces or against Russian populations in eastern Ukraine, Russia will probably attack those forces with nuclear weapons. That's what Russia says they'll do. There you are. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. I'd give it a 10% chance, maybe 15. But th that's a real possibility right now. And, and that's not just me saying it. Here are the headlines. Russia wants to start World War III, Ukrainian prime minister, as they started. Ukraine foreign minister ready to fight Russia. They've been calling uh, for attacks the entire time. So that's what's going on here. Uh, here's another one. Ukraine helicopter hit by grenade taking off. A Ukrainian helicopter is crippled by a grenade attack as Kiev warns Moscow is engineering a third world war. You, you hear that? Putin warns of consequences as Ukraine steps up offensive. Will you guys queue up Lavrov again, please? Kerry warns Russia of new sanctions. AP. And then they hit him with new sanctions via SNP, downgrading Russia today. Russia proposes scorched earth retaliation economically. Pentagon, Russian spy ship tug operating near U.S. Ships near nuclear submarine base at Kings Bay, Georgia. Those, 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 those submarines and those and Russian intelligence ships guaranteed carry cruise missiles. That's what they're going to use. How traders can prepare for worsening Ukraine crisis. CNBC, yeah, how to make money off World War III. Okay. The image of Mill... MI-8 Russian attack helicopters that the Ukrainians have flying around burning buildings. I mean, this is out of control, and now you're going to have Russian sheep-dipped Ukrainian military are going to be attacking those. And uh, if it doesn't stay a proxy war, all hell is going to break loose. So that's the bottom line. And, and it's important to realize, folks, America isn't America anymore. America is seized by... The military-industrial complex itself run by predominantly foreign offshore banks, the same ones that got Obamacare passed, bipartisanly. You've got a minority of Republican libertarians who are growing, who are sane, who want to fix things, so they're being attacked by the Republican leadership, the Democratic leadership. You've now got Glenn Beck, if you just joined us, and it's not about him attacking me, it's about a sea change. He had the Southern Poverty Law Center, White House, Media Matters, talking points for anyone else almost two weeks ago. Saying sovereign citizen, it's going to get violent. Alex Jones wants violence. Now I'm racist. You played the clip last hour. I want violence. You don't want to be with me. Uh, none of that's true. Our affiliates are calling us. Multiple ones freaking out saying, we hear your show. We can't believe you're saying this. We carry him too. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. They're not worried about the general audience. They want it on record when all hell breaks loose that I'm the reason the Civil War started. Not Obama, not Glenn Beck, not the globalists. And they're going to go after all liberty-based groups. He wants to be left standing as the new vestigial leader of what's left of libertarians. And, you know, I just said here in the office earlier on air, I said, you know, he brags he's got all these FBI agents that work for him, former FBI, that, you know, he's got all these people. I've talked to people that worked there years ago about how they watch everything we do, and they're supposed to be us, but then demonize us. And I was told that by high-level people. I mean, repeatedly, and it's not even that big of a deal. I'd be going into Fox Studios, be on another show. They say, Glenn Beck is freaking out, climbing the walls. You can't come on now. And I'd be like, that's fine. I'm going over to The View and going over to do, uh, you know, CNN. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, Glenn Beck and his, quote, people don't, you know, don't want you in here. They're throwing fits. And, you know, they've got pull in the government. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, man, the guy's the government. Glenn Beck is the government. And, you know, I could name names, but I'm not going to name names, folks, okay? And then I was told by someone else, high level, and these are people's names you'd know, okay, about Glenn Beck. And, and that the FBI is there, a section of it from the Justice Department. And I go, but wait, he's going after Van Jones. He's going after Obama. They're like, that's all fake.
And the guys are like, Alex, is that really true? And I said, of course it's true. Look into him and the FBI. So they started search engineing. And guess what they found from the blaze? Hiding this in plain view. And again, how do I go from Ukraine to this? Because it's the whole government is just a bunch of special interest, CIA, NSA, FBI, corporate groups building their own private kingdoms. <clears throat> basically, Glenn Beck is like a private CIA takeover of Clear Channel is basically what's happening. And then no one else can make money at Clear Channel but Glenn Beck and at Premier and no one else gets paid money because all the former executives went over there and it's all FBI and CIA run and here they are openly hiding it in plain view. This is from allaccess.com. Ten questions for Buck Sexton. I never even knew who this guy was when I saw him, but I said, that guy is a government agent. The secure look, the satisfied look, these are kind of coward-like guys that think because they're part of the system and information warfare, they're above the law. And I mean, just look at that guy. I mean, that, I've seen that look so many times growing up, going to family reunions with people that were CIA and stuff. I mean, Dallas is a CIA command base. That's the reason Vic Glenn Beck moved to Dallas. How do I know all these people? Because I've grown up around this, folks. Now, let's continue. It says, brief career synopsis, CIA, Council on Foreign Relations, theblaze.com, radio network. This is Buck Sexton, host, national security editor. This is from the blaze bragging about who they're, this is from their bio. This is them telling you this. CIA, Council on Foreign Relations, he heads up the radio network. How did you get into radio, TV, and commentary from the CIA? How did you make that transition? See, I was just saying all this. The crew, I don't think, believe me, they went and looked it up. Six years as an intelligence analyst. I was weeks away from starting my full MBA, probably headed to Wall Street. They go on, who else helps you run the blaze? Betsy Morgan, President and Chief Strategy Officer of the Blaze, formerly CEO of the Huffington Post. They are the Justice Department. They are Obama. And I'll just go ahead and, and we're going to put reports together. Glenn Beck, you want it, buddy? You, maybe I'll name names, son. You want it? You're going to get it. You want it? You're going to get it. As I gave you the benefit of the doubt, and I knew you were after me, and I said, leave me alone. What, you think the fact that you're Benedict Arnold is going to come out? You were spouting White House talking points three days before word for word it came out of Media Matters. You got the memo before they did, bud. We got your ass. You want more? We're going to compile a dossier on all your people now, and we're going to put it out for folks. We're going to realize your little base over there is a CIA FBI substation. You understand? This is what we're talking about. You want to say I want violent revolution? You want to say I want to lock you up in jail when that's what you want? Without a trial? You want to say I'm a racist? We're going to show this is directly out of the Justice Department what's happening. Right here. Your people hide this stuff in plain, stinking view. I wonder what Anonymous is going to do about this. Anonymous, are you going to let them bring me down? I'm for real. I need the grassroots to come to my aid right now. I can tell the enemy is rolling the Death Star around. It's going to be clear to fire in five minutes. What are you going to do? I need you to help me. I'm for real. These people want to bring me down. And if they can bring me down, they can bring you down, they can bring Drudge down, they can bring World Net Daily down, they can bring the real liberal media down, the libertarian Thomas Jefferson media down. You gonna br As if he's not going to get hung out to dry later when they fully take over. If he wasn't always a spook, he was brought in by him in the last four years. Roger Ailes was in intelligence to set up Fox News. That's on record. And they broke away from him to start their own operation. And the word is because Roger Ailes is too patriotic and wouldn't work with Obama. Oh, you want all of it? I think I'm going to go ahead and load torpedoes. You know, I, 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 I am so focused on the New World Order and everything else, but I've got to deal with their attack vessel they got right in front of me. I got so much to do around here, but I can go do the go get all the stuff I've already researched, load it up, and I'm going to. I, I think I'm going to do it. In fact, now that I've announced it, I have to. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to drop everything on your ass. And excuse my French, ladies and gentlemen. You 